everyone, I'm Christy. Welcome to another workout with me. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Today's workout is a 20 minute workout focused completely on our obliques. So not only is this gonna tone up your sides of the waist and make your waist a little bit trimmer, but it will also strengthen you for all the side body work that is important in Pilates and in the rest of life. It'll help you stay stable as you're walking and moving forwards or swimming and really strengthen and support you. So all you're gonna need for this is a yoga mat. As always, if you have any injuries, please do modify, respect your body, and move as you're able. I'll be providing some modifications, but again, as always, do what feels best for you. All right, let's get into today's workout. All right, when you're ready here, we're gonna start standing at the back edge of your mat. Your feet are gonna be hips distance apart, toes facing forwards, big inhale, arms reach to the sky. Slowly roll down, hands come to the mat, hold here. You're gonna pedal out your heels for just a second, making sure the weight is even through the middle of your foot. You're not too far back on the heels. Slowly walk your hands out. Find a high plank position, hold. Deep in the stomach, squeezing your bottom and starting to find that stack of the ribs over the hips. Pike your hips back and as you do so, right arm reaches to left ankle, step it all the way forwards. Switching sides, left arm to right ankle, Good, your hands stay nice and still. You find that little twist that will activate the obliques here. Beautiful, left to right, right to left. Deep in the stomach, find the obliques. Four more. Two, one. Come all the way into that high plank again. Find your down dog, and this time as you come forwards into your high plank, right knee drives into left elbow. Right knee to left elbow, switching sides. Left knee to right elbow. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Beautiful job. Five. Four, press strong through those arms. Two more, big twist, twist. Last one, big twist. Find your down dog, lower the knees, sit back, find a quick child's pose. All right, last thing we'll do here in our plank series is a little forearm plank series. So you're gonna come onto your right forearm. You're either gonna stack the feet or have one foot in front of the other. We're gonna build on this side plank later in class. You're gonna come all the way up. Reach your left arm to the sky. Shoulders are stacked. Lower, lift. Give me nine, eight, seven, six. Deep in stomach, into spine. Wrapping ribs around one another. For three, two, one. Both forearms come down. Hold for a second. Turn your left forearm so that it's parallel to the front of the mat. Heels drop over to the other side. Lower lift. Deep in the stomach here. These can be pretty small for now. Three, two, waking up those obliques. One, come all the way to center. Hold here, three, two, one. Lower the knees. All right, let's flip onto our backs. Lie all the way down for me. We're just gonna get our upper and lower abdominals warm with the 100, all right? Option here to keep the head down if you have any neck issues at all, or to reach the legs to the ceiling if your low back gives you any trouble. Arms reach all the way behind you. Let's start with the legs long along the mat. Big inhale, big exhale. Let's go for one more. This time on the exhale, we'll lift up. Big inhale. Exhale, lift the head, neck and shoulders up, hold. Lift one leg to the 45, root down to the back of the pelvis. Lift the other leg to the 45 and pump those arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, big pumps. Think six to eight inches above the height of the bottom of your hips. Keep breathing here. 
two more breaths. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, four, five. One more breath, two, three, four, five. Exhale, hold it still, lower one leg down, lower the other leg down, rest your arms back behind you. In one slow and controlled motion, you're gonna curl up to a seated position, legs staying long along the mat. Stretch forwards, reach to your toes. Let the head come to the nose to stretch the back. Three, two, one. Bend the knees, slowly roll onto your back. All right, so to get the side body working, we also need to lengthen it. So I'm gonna have you hold on behind the back of the right leg. Reach the right leg to the sky, flex the ankle, keep the ankle flexed, bend the knee. You're just reaching to a 90 degree angle right now. And this might feel tough, right? Feel free to stick with this, keeping the left knee bent. If this feels good, straighten the right leg to the sky, hold. Straighten the left leg long along the mat, stay. Walk your hands up a little higher, keeping the ankle flexed, pull it in. Pull in three. Pull in two, pull in one. Take the left hand to the outside of the right ankle, the right arm by your side, and press the right leg across your body, keeping your bum bone down so your right butt cheek stays on the mat. Hold three, two, one. Start to pick up the butt, the low back, the rib cage. Hold three, two, one and return. Make a letter X with your hands, flex the ankle, pull it in three. In two, in one, let's go the other way. Left leg out, right leg out to the side, left arm leg stays nice and stable. Hold three, two, one, return. Place your right foot down, hug the left knee and hold on behind the left knee, flex the ankle as you straighten to the sky and bend it in. Make sure your butt is not curling up away from the mat, but it's staying grounded, right? That's your stability, and that's actually going to put you in the right place to actually stretch your hamstrings, instead of just tucking your tail to compensate for what might feel tight. One more. Straighten, hold. Walk your hands up and slide your right leg out long, flexing that right ankle. From here, pull the left leg in towards you. Big stretch. Hold three. Woo, two, one, and release. Try that again, pull it in, hold three. Hold two, deep in the stomach, in and up, one, and release. Right hand to the outside of the ankle, left arm by your sides, push it across the body, but keep your left bum cheek down. Breathe. Start to rotate, lifting your bottom, your low back, your rib, making sure that the right toes stay facing the sky. Hold here, three. Increasing the stretch, putting it a little more into that rotation in the back. Return to center, make a letter X, big stretch, three, two, one. Let's go the other way, right arm down, left leg up to the side, beautiful job. Hold it here, three, two, and one, bend the knees in. Right knee pulls in, lift your head, neck and shoulders, switch, 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 switch. Let's go for three, two, right into crisscross. Here we go, switch, 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 four, three, two, single straight leg stretch, right leg high, left leg high, lift, 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 four, straight leg crisscross in two, one, right leg high, switch, 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 four, three, two, one, bend, Woo. and rest, take a moment, nice work. All right, when you're ready here, let's roll up to a seat. We'll do spine stretch forwards with a side bend. Legs come out to the width of the mat. If you need to modify your very tight hamstrings, you could stick a pillow or a yoga block underneath your bum, or bend the knees, or do both. Hands come behind the neck. Elbows wide, lifting tall. Root your tailbone down without coming into a sway back. Twist to the right. 
Look to your right elbow as you side bend to the left, bringing left elbow to left knee. Make sure your feet and your hips have not shifted. Rotate the right arm to the sky as you start to slide the left elbow down towards your left ankle. Try to get the left side of the waist onto the mat as you press the right hip into the mat. Slide it all the way up, stay twisted, and let's go the other way. Twist, reach right elbow to right knee. Slide it all the way long. Rotate left arm to the sky. Hold three, two, whoo, big stretch. One, stack it tall. Try that again, rotate. Left elbow to left knee. Slide it all the way long, that's it. Hold three. Can you go a little further? Two, root the right, one. Last time, to the right. Right elbow to right knee. Slide it away. Rotate up as you slide. Three, two, one. Stack it tall. All right, your corkscrew. Lie onto your back. Arms are slightly wider than the mat. Legs are together. Legs are going to go down to the right, keeping your toes stacked and both shoulders on the mat. Through the low 45, around to the left all the way up through center. Now we're gonna go to the left, left, down, right, center, right, down, left, center, left, down, right, center, hold, flex your ankles, look to the left, heels drop right, left shoulder stays on the mat. Switch directions. One more each way, big twist. Last one. Return to center, bend the knees. All right, hopefully you feel a little more open, strong, got a lot of twisting work in. We're gonna go into our pure side bend. So let's lie on our right side. We're gonna go for a quick little side series here, and we'll finish it off in our kneeling. All right, so we're gonna be staying on this side for about five more minutes or so, and then we'll flip to the other side. So. Left leg is gonna come straight up, straight down, keeping a parallel leg here. Five, four. Think about lifting this bottom side of the waist, creating a little bit of a tunnel, right? A little mouse can fit underneath here. Call it a house for a mouse. Two, hold it up, one. Bottom leg up, down, up, down. Eight, seven, six, beautiful. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Both toes lower, lift, lower, lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower, rest. Lower all the way down. Cross your right arm across your body, holding the top of your left shoulder. Left hand stays in front of your chest. From your stomach, without your feet moving, Press up, side push up, lower down. So as much as this is about my left arm, I'm also pulling into this left side of the waist and really thinking about contracting this oblique. All right, let's try that again. Push up, lower down. If you need to bend the knee or bend the top knee here, that's an option, but try to keep your feet still. They stay on the mat, they do not shift, they do not lift, all right? Four more here, four. Lower down, last three, three, lower down, two more, good, lower down, one more, hold three, two, one, lower, Woo. and rest, let's come to kneeling, all right, so we're going to do our kneeling side kicks now, it's like your side kick, but amped up a notch, hands behind the neck, Right arm comes down, left leg wide, lift and lower. Tap the ground, lift up, ground, lift up. Five, four, beautiful, three, two, one. Forwards, back, forwards, back, five, four. Try not to rock your upper body, stay nice and even, shoulders stacked, two, one, good, lower, rest, take a seat. All right, we're gonna do our side bend here. So this exercise is a little tricky. 
If you have any wrist issues, please be careful. We're really gonna be working into this bottom oblique here. And our goal is not to come into a full side plank, but rather to lift up and over like a crescent move. All right, so start with your left arm on your hip. Your feet can either be stacked or crossed, like I said. Your distance between hand and feet will not change. You'll lengthen all the way up, find your side bend. Hold three, two, one, lower, bum down. Two more like that. And down. One more time. Lift it up. This time straighten out. Lower your hand and your hip down to the ground. Lift it up. Two more. Lift it up. One more. Lift it up. And lower down. Bring your left hand down to the ground. Pivot your toes. Right hand slightly staggered in front of the left. From here, feet are together. Open the chest. Lift it tall, snake and twist. Round the spine, pull it under. Two more, open the chest. Round the spine, lift it under. One more, open the chest. And round the spine, pivot your right, your heels to the right, return to your side plank, and we're gonna go for the twist. Arm reaches up, reach behind you, and then all the way under and behind you, and all the way under. One more, behind you, and all the way under. Sit onto your hip, and lower, and rest. Woo, not easy, let's go to the other side. So you'll lie on your other side here. We'll go for our regular side kicks, parallel, lift and lower. Nine, eight, make your little house for a mouse. That means your oblique is working, seven, six, Five. So think about all the stabilization you need, right? To not let your hips rock around, hold it up, bottom leg. That's what your side body is meant to do, to keep your hips in line so they don't go crazy. They help support the stabilization of your pelvis, right? It's not just an aesthetic thing. You have three, two, one, both legs, down, up, down, up, five, four, three, Two, one, lower, rest, wrap your hand around, lie down, side push up, press through both feet, anchoring them down, lift it up, lower all the way down, I'm gonna adjust my hand a little, lift it up, and lower all the way down, try not to let your feet go anywhere, lift it up, lower it all the way down, five more, lower it all the way down, for four, that is not easy. Four, lower down. Last three. Good, down, down, down. Two more here, all right? Lift it up, lower down. One more, lift it up, and lower it all the way. Whoo, down, all right. Let's come to kneeling, all right? So, kneeling position. We'll do our kneeling side kicks up and down and forwards and back. So coming down, here we go. Down, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Forwards, back, forwards, back, four, three, two, one. Leg down, come all the way to a seat. We'll do our side bend. So, feet are gonna be either crossed or stacked, whatever you did on the other side. The distance between your hand and foot don't change. If one side versus the other feels stronger or weaker, that's totally normal, right? So, embrace it, work with what you got. I'm pretty sure this is my weak side. So, let's go up and over. Side bend, all the way down. Two more, lift up and over. Reach, and down. One more, last one, reach up and over. Follow the hand with your gaze. And all the way down, ready to lower lift. Reach up and over, flatten out, lower down, lift it up, lower down, lift it up, lower down, lift it up. From here, place your hands down. Left hand slightly staggered in front of the right. 
Round your spine. Articulate through. Deepen the stomach. Scoop. Pull it in. Two more. Roll through. Scoop. Pull it in. One more. Roll through. Return it in. Hands come level to one another. Let that heel drop. We go for your twist. Reach behind. Twist under. Woo! Reach behind. Twist under. Reach behind. Twist under. And slowly come to a seat. Beautiful job, everyone. That was your entire workout with me. Thank you so, so much for joining me. As always, I'm Christy. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe, give this video a like, and you can leave me a comment down below with any requests you have for future workouts or videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.